Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. In this video, we are going through how to find all 16 Dedalian keys. One important thing for this is you need to have made it to the autumn. Then you need to have done the mission with Gladwin Moon so that you can get Aloha Mora. If you haven't made it that far yet, there is a video on the channel covering Aloha Mora. And you just need level 1 to get your hands on the Dedalian key. You don't need to level it up or anything like that, but you do need to be level 14 in order to take on that quest. One more thing to note is I have already collected all of the keys. The only thing I have left to do is open the chest in the common room. I'm just going to explain where they spawn and then show you where they go, like which cabinet they go to. So in order to open these cabinets, what you need to do is let the key fly around and as soon as it hovers over the keyhole and is pretty quick, you need to press the corresponding button which is A on the Xbox controller. You need to press that in order to slap the key into the keyhole and that is it. That will open up the cabinet, you will get your house token. So in order to start off and pick up this quest, you need to go to the astronomy wing and you need to go to the transfiguration courtyard. So when you are at the Transfiguration Courtyard, if you come over here to this big tree, you will see an NPC standing here called Nelly Ogspire. She's going to begin the quest and she's going to send you on a mission up to the top of the Astronomy Wing, up to the Astronomy Tower. So when you are in the Astronomy Tower, this is also going to be key number one. It's part of the quest. It gives you an introduction to collecting the keys. If you turn around and you come to this staircase here, Make it all the way to the top of the staircase and then the, the Dalian key will be sitting here like floating around, flying around. And it's going to lead you back down these stairs. And it's going to go to the left into this room and cabinet number one is here. For key number two we are going to the Great Hall and we're going to the actual Great Hall flu flame. When you are in the Great Hall, if you look to your left you're going to see a fireplace and the, the Dalian key will be here. It's going to fly around, it's going to spin around that pillar, then it's going to lead you up the stairs here, and this is the cabinet for key number two. For key number three, we are going to the library annex, and then we are going to potions classroom. When you've spawned in at the potions classroom, if you go straight through these double doors, on the left hand side there will be a key right here, and you want to follow it down these stairs, and just at the very end there, that is going to be your next cabinet for key number three. Key number four, if you go to the library annex again, but this time you go to Central Hall. And when you are at Central Hall, if you come up the stairs, it doesn't matter left or right. And you keep going up to the top underneath this staircase here. At the back, you will find the key here. And the key is going to lead you back down the stairs. And is going to lead you to this cabinet right here. So that is going to be key number four. For key number five, we are in the library annex again, but this time we're going to the actual library. When you are here, if we come over underneath this archway here, the, the Dalian key will be sat here, and it's going to lead you back towards the flue flame, but right over here to the key cabinet, and that is key number five. So for key number six, we are heading back to the Great Hall, and we are going to Great Hall again. Except this time from the flu flame, we are going to go back on ourselves out of this door. Then we are going through this double door and once again through this one. And you will have a Dedalian key flying around in here. It's going to lead you down the stairs. You can go either side. And eventually you will make it to this cabinet here. And that is key number six. So for key number seven, you are going to make your way to the grand staircase. And you are going to spawn at grand staircase. Once you are here, if you run up these stairs, and then you make it up these stairs as well, you're going to see the cabinet there, but the Dedalian key itself spawns very, very high up this staircase. So if we keep running up, and we go around to these outer stairs, then when we get up here, the Dedalian key will be around here, Remember, you can use Revelio if you can't actually see it. And then what you need to do is follow it. Like It's going to go its own direction, but I mean, follow, like make your way back to the cabinet I showed you. So keep going down the stairs. And then when you get here, 
if you do it right, you can make it round to the key cabinet there. The cabinets themselves will also show up when you're using Revelio. But that is key number seven. For key number eight, we are going to the south wing and we are going to the clock tower courtyard. So when you are at the clock tower courtyard, this is where you need Alohomora because you need to go in this door here and it's going to have a lock on it. But once you've unlocked it with Alohomora, if you come up the stairs, when you make it through this archway, the Dedalian key will be here and it disappears up this pillar. So what you need to do is go through this archway, go up the stairs. And when you get outside the door to the left hand side, the cabinet is there. And that is going to be key number eight. Now for key number nine, if we go to the south wing, but this time we go to the faculty tower. And when you are at the faculty tower, if you go straight forward and head into this room on the right hand side, this is where you will learn Alohomora. So this door will need to be unlocked. You'll see the cabinet there. But what you're going to do is make it to the very top of these stairs. The Dedalian key will be here. And it does a couple of swirls around the stairs. Makes its way down to this cabinet. And that is key number 9. So key number 10 is taking us to the library annex. And we are going to Central Hall. And when you spawn in, if you run down these stairs over to the right hand side. Down behind this pillar, the Dedalian key will be here. And it's going to lead you up these stairs, straight across the central hall, down the stairs this side, and into the cabinet right here. So that is key number 10. So for key number 11, we are going to the astronomy wing, and we are going to the defense against the dark arts classroom. Then when you spawn in outside the defense against the dark arts classroom, if you turn to the right hand side, come along here, do a left, follow this around, and go down these stairs. When you get to this display here, the Dedalian key will be right here. Then what he's going to do is make his way back up these stairs. We're back outside the classroom again. But it's going to come along here and the cabinet is right at the end here. So that is key number 11. Now for key number 12, we are going to the bell tower wing and we are going to the bell tower courtyard. Then when you are at the bell tower courtyard, if you go left and up these stairs here, Come through this door, go up the stairs, and there is going to be a Dedalian key here. Then what you need to do is come all the way up these stairs, follow them all the way round, and just keep going until you get to the very top. And when you are at the top, if you go around, the key cabinet is going to be there, and that is key number 12. Now for key number 13, we are going to the grand staircase, and we are going to quad courtyard. So when you are in the quad courtyard, if you run up these stairs here and you go all the way around, just keep following this round. When you get over to here, there is going to be a Dedalian key that spawns right here. That key is going to fly down these stairs here, all the way around and is going to come over here to the key cabinet which can be found on the wall right there so that is key number 13. now for key number 14 we are going to the bell tower wing and we are going to bell tower courtyard so with key number 14 you get to the bell tower courtyard we are going up the stairs to the left and through the door and we are going down the stairs through this door then we're going to follow it around come down the stairs again and when we come back on ourselves, there is going to be a sleeping dragon and the Dedalian key will be here. Then it travels up the stairs and you will see the cabinet right there in front of us. And that is key number 14. So for key number 15, the penultimate key, we are going to the south wing and we are going to the hospital wing. When you make it to this flu flame, if you turn around, you'll see a load of spinning cogs in the background. If you make it here and come down the stairs, you're going to see this corridor and the Dedalian key will be here. And what it does is makes its way along here and the cabinet is just at the very end. And that is key number 15. So key number 16, the final one, we are going back to the bell tower wing and we are going back to the bell tower courtyard. And exactly the same as the previous ones, we're going left up the stairs. 
And for one of them, we've gone up. But for the second time, we are going down the stairs, through the door. And then we are going to follow these stairs down. We're going to go past the sleeping dragon. Along this corridor and to the right. And the final Dedalian key will be sat here. And then it's going to make its way along into this room. Make its way around into the 16th and the final key cabinet. So now we are back in our common room. I'm part of Gryffindor. If we come around the corner, we are going to see our house chest. There is one token in there, which was the very first one. But now we can start placing. We can place every single key or every single token. And now we have a couple left. And we have done every single token. And it's doing some weird sort of spinny thing. It's setting up a load of numbers. And we got the Gryffindor Relic House Uniform. So now what we do is we go back to the Bell Tower Wing and the Bell Tower Courtyard. And there you go. That is the Dedalian Keys quest complete. A nice 180 XP for completing that. And each house is going to have a different look to it. But this is the Gryffindor house robe. This is an absolute beast. I just, I like how the accent or the like the secondary color is gold. It looks really, really good with the red. The pattern's nice. I like the, like this collar on it. I think that's brilliant. That's a really, really nice looking reward. So that is going to do it for the video. That was how to find all 16 the daily young keys in Hogwarts Legacy so that you can unlock your house chest and grab the house robe. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about the robes and Hogwarts Legacy in the comments. And check out this video if you want to see other content on the channel. I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.